So you guys, what did the caterpillar say to the butterfly? You've changed. What? I don't get it. I'm a neuter. <sighs> oh, young people these days. See how many of these fantastic animal facts you already know. A group of parrots is called a pandemonium. It's true. I thought that's what a group of toddlers was called. A flamingo's head must be upside down when it eats. Ah! And one more, the reasoning ability of crows rivals that of seven-year-old humans. Crows! Wow. My granddaughter Clara is seven and she's crazy about bugs. Clara collects bugs. She talks about bugs. When she finds a new bug, her eyes light up buggy and she introduces it to everyone in the family and sometimes to complete strangers. I do not share Clara's love for the creepy crawlies, but the more I read about the bugs, the more I appreciate their creator. Did you know that spiders spin threads out their backside? And get this, these threads are stronger than anything humans can create. Say what? It's true. The webbing of the bark spider is 25 times stronger than steel. Imagine. Spider-Man versus the Man of Steel? I pick Spidey-Man. Then there's the disgusting cockroach. It's a survivor. Cockroaches can live a month without food, hold their breath for 40 minutes, live for a week without a head, say what? And withstand high doses of radiation. In fact, it may be the only animal that would survive a nuclear blast. Which means that in a nuclear apocalypse, most countries would still have fully functioning governments. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, very bad joke. We can cut that out, you guys? What? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Pound for pound, insects are the strongest creatures on Earth. The reigning powerlifting champion of the world isn't Yuri from Russia, it's the horned dung beetle. It can pull 1140 times its own body weight. That's like me bench pressing 200,000 pounds, seriously. Another super athlete is the humble flea able to jump up to 150 times its body length. That's like us leaping two and a half football fields in one hop. The bug that causes my eyebrows to jump is the plant hopper. As it jumps, its long hind legs extend in a millionth of a second. Now get this, if these legs don't fire at exactly the same millisecond, the bug would spin wildly off course, like characters in a Bugs Bunny cartoon. These guys, wow. So. How are its legs timed to one millionth of a second? Researchers found the answer looking through a microscope. At the base of each hind leg is a gear with microscopic teeth. These gears interlock perfectly. As the legs push off, the gears spin at 50,000 teeth per second, forcing each leg to move in exact unison. This ensures that the plant hopper will jump perfectly straight every time. Are you kidding me? Incredible, stupendous, what a creature, what a creator. Clara's bug of the week is the caterpillar. This squirmy eating machine consumes many times its body weight each day. Then it hangs upside down from a twig or leaf, spinning itself a silky cocoon or molting into a shiny chrysalis. Inside its new home, the caterpillar releases enzymes that melt its tissues to mush. But soon, the caterpillar soup arranges itself into new cells which group into tissues, organs, and body parts. Help! Help! Where did you guys go? They've left me here! Help! And when that new creature, that stunningly beautiful butterfly or moth emerges, it is nothing like the leaf-chomping worm with legs it was before. Guided by a brain the size of a pinhead, the majestic monarch butterfly will gently flap 3,000 miles to Central America, ending up at the same tree sometimes that its parents landed on a generation or two earlier. That is truly one of the great wonders of our world, reflecting the Creator who offers the same thing to us when we trust in Jesus. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. This is the promise of the gospel, that because of Jesus' finished work on the cross, by grace through faith, we receive new life, his resurrection power, and we're gonna be transformed 
Yes, the process may be messy, but the final product will be magnificent. And one day, my friends, we're gonna fly. Well, there's a little lesson from Clara's favorite bug. And here's her favorite joke. Don't eat a caterpillar. You'll get butterflies in your stomach. <laughs> you wanna help make stories of hope and joy available around the world? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video today.